In this example, we're going to look at absolute value inequalities that result in a no solution. So for absolute value inequalities, we begin by isolating the absolute value. So in this example first, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides, and we get 7 times the absolute value of 1 plus a is less than or equal to negative 70. And we can go ahead and divide both sides by 7, and we get the absolute value of 1 plus a is less than or equal to negative 10. Now, for this example, right now you should uh, realize that something odd is happening here, because when we have an absolute value, this must always be positive, the end result, and this here is negative, of course, so we have the statement that a positive is less than a negative, and that can't happen. That is a false statement, no matter what value we put in for a. So this has no solution. No value of x will make this work. So if you have a number line to graph, don't put anything on it, because that is a representation of the shaded values that would work for this, and no values would work.